All right, so this is going to be a pepper review on the Trinidad Scorpion Long, also known as, I believe it's SRTSL. I did a review last year, and I did a taste test on it, and I lost part of the video, so unfortunately I can only have uploaded half the video. So this year it looks like I got a couple on here, a couple small ones. I'm going to winter this one over. And we're going to keep this one going for a couple more years, hopefully. And uh, hopefully it fruits in the wintertime and I can get a couple more better examples of this pepper. But this, this variety of pepper really likes to be in the sunlight. So I really need to put this out next year in direct sunlight and let it fully grow out there. And it'll produce a ton of pods if you do that. But if you keep it... See, the problem in here was is I put this uh, tamarillo tree thing in here and it was small when I put it in. And it just absolutely grew enormous. So it's blocking all the sunlight on on all my pepper plants. And it kind of just turned into a disaster. So, sort of. I mean, it, not really, but... I didn't want it to do that, and it did, and so now I have to winter it over again. I didn't want to have to winter this plant over again this year because it's in such a big pot, and, you know, it's just going to be a nuisance for me, to be honest with you. So anyway, uh, the plant is a smooth stem plant. It's got purpling at the nodes randomly all over the plant, so every node pretty much has purpling on it. Every single node has purpling everyone the leaf type is a regular leaf type okay it's regular leaf and i don't see any flowers in here so i can't show you the flowers but they're a standard white flower pepper flower nothing special about it and what else about this one not too much known about the origins of the pepper i think it's it's from trinidad but i think it was named after the, the name s S, what is it called? S R T S L. I believe stands for Sarah Rachel Trinidad Scorpion Long. I believe that's what it stands for. But a lot of you do research online about it, and nobody really knows what the S R is. They don't really know her name. But I do believe I have read somewhere that it stands for Sarah Rachel. All right. So, with that said, here's a pepper right here, and we're gonna pick that one. Hopefully, without breaking the whole plant. I got that one. I got another one here. And I got another little one here. So we got three to choose from. <laughs> Which three do I want to choose from? Now, I got better images of peppers from the past. But generally, this pepper likes to... It has this, what they call, cup and saucer shape. Meaning, it gets this... It's got like this part here, and then there's a bottom that drops out of it. So it, they're generally like that, pretty much. But they get much longer. These are really small, again, because the plant really didn't get any sunlight. But don't let that kid you, because this is a Trinidad Scorpion pepper, and it is just as hot as the regular scorpions. All right, so let's, uh, let's turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, what's going on? This is going to be a hot one. And I'm picking a small one because I really don't want to eat the big one. I know it's going to be hot. Even if I don't swallow it, just eating it and chewing it and going through the suffering is just not something I'm looking forward to doing, especially early in the morning because it is morning time here and I really don't want to get sick being I just ate breakfast. But you need something in your stomach really before you even start trying to eat these things so let's see how this goes and we'll give it a taste test and this isn't a good example of the Trinidad Scorpion Long I'll put images in uh, either in the back of the video or maybe up front or I'll put it in the thumbnail so you can see what the proper shape is this isn't a good image the plant really didn't develop I only got a couple peppers off it this year it didn't really develop. It got blocked out by the sun because of my lovely tamarillo growing all the way up there. So because of that reason, it, it didn't really develop. But I went through it over. Next year, I'll put this one out in the, uh, the yard somewhere. Let it grow to its full potential, and I'll get hundreds and hundreds of these things. All right, so uh, let's get into it. All right, so it's a hot one. 
it's a creeper and I can feel it coming on so far no gut cramps so far and no hiccups yet but it's definitely got heat on it definitely has heat the taste of it let me try to get this out of the way before I start burning to death the taste of it was very interesting it was it was like it tasted like a typical scorpion type of a taste but it had a fruity taste to it similar to habanero but not quite habanero fruity it did have a little bit of a fruity flavor it was very nice i actually liked it i really like i'm a very big fan of the um seven pots the scorpions the buccalokias I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of those peppers, taste-wise. Heat-wise, no. <laughs> I, I, if when it comes to, like, selecting peppers to make sauces and cooking and stuff with, I really do go to these. And unfortunately, the heat on these is just way more than I really like to apply most of the time in cooking. So, so far, the heat is it's burning, but it's, it's not that overwhelming. Right now... That part of the pepper, small pepper, I'm going to put this heat at about, I'm probably going to have to put this heat somewhere about 100, 150,000. But it's very mellow. It's probably because it's only the bottom of the pepper. If I go up any more, it's probably going to get really, really hot. I'm going to have to say that the heat is probably somewhere, yeah, like around 100, 150. But the type of burn that it is, it's burning up my lips. It's burning up the whole top of the tongue, all the way to the back. A little bit on the back of the throat. It's warm down my esophagus to my stomach. It's warm, but I'm not getting a gut cramp. See, that's why I like these peppers. They don't really get, they're really hot, but I don't get a gut cramp from them. Some of these other peppers I eat, I, is even if I eat small amounts of them, I immediately get this cramp in my stomach that's uh, literally unbearable. I don't know what why that is, but I don't think it's the heat. I, it's why I separate. That's why I separate the spiciness from the heat, because there's something else in that pepper that causes this problem in your stomach. And this one, this one's not doing it right now. I'll take. I'll even take another bite off it. Now that's up by the seeds. That's gonna get hot. I'm spitting the skins out because I got to talk. But pretty much once I chew it up, it's swallowed. You got to understand when I'm making these videos and I have to keep chewing them and talking them, goo is flying out of my mouth, spit's flying out of my mouth, pieces of pepper are flying. I'm trying to make it so I can do the video. So I do have to spit, either swallow it, and, and even after I swallow it, Pieces of it get stuck in your mouth. I, I got to get that stuff out. It's going to fly out of my mouth when I'm talking. But yeah, it's about 100, 150. The heat is still consistent. It's about the same. I wouldn't necessarily say this is hotter than the traditional uh, Trinidad Scorpion. It's very hot though. It is very hot. It's burning. Now this, I just took that second bite. That side of my mouth where I chewed it. That side of the tongue is really burning more than anything. A uh, little bit of a throat burn. Feels really good. No watering in the eyes. No, you know, blood pressure going up. Nothing. No gut cramp. It's pretty nice, but it is very hot. The tongue is absolutely roasting right now. Very, very hot. Like, here's a traditional scorpion. That's a traditional uh, Trinidad Scorpion, but what we just ate was the long version. It's still hot, don't get me wrong. Now, if you let this pepper fully mature to the full size, they get pretty long. They'll get like that long. That heat will be double, tripled on, I think. This is just a little baby. <coughs> if you let that thing fully mature, whew, they're hot. My tongue is roasted right now. I can barely talk. I'm, I'm, I might even bring that heat level up a little bit. I might, I might go a little higher. Because it's cooking. Now the back of my throat is starting to pound. Whew. 
it's the 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 you can feel that throbbing on your tonsils. Wow. Now that, that top of the pepper was hot. It's a creeper heat. It takes a little while to come in. Oh, man. All right. But, yeah, as far as the taste goes, definitely, I, I would definitely say that the taste is, is uh, it's very good. It's in that scorpion pepper, Bucciolokia type pepper taste. Very nice. It has like, in other words, you're probably wondering, well, what does a scorpion taste like? Or what are you talking about? Well, it's kind of like a Fatali habanero flavor without the spiciness. I could eat those. I'm not getting upset. If I was to do that with a, with a, uh, with a Fatali, I'd be belching right now. Probably want to puke it up. There's something in that pepper, that variety that just... But this one has a, a nice Fatali habanero combo flavor without the upset stomach aspect of it. There's something that it's lacking that upsets my stomach. So it's not a very spicy pepper. It's a very hot pepper though. Very, very hot pepper. Whew, it's coming down now. It's starting to come down. I'm getting used to the heat a little bit more as the season goes on. But that th that doesn't mean that, you know, at any point I can eat a pepper and then just be devastated by it because the, the higher the concentration you take in at once, the worse, the worse it gets. So you want to eat, if you're building your heat level, you want to eat smaller amounts and slowly build that level up until you could eat larger amounts without getting thrown up, basically. But that's a very thin line because you might go all the way up to where you think that th fine line is. You might go all the way up to that point and then you're, you're like, I could do it. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Boom, you eat the whole thing and you're vomiting. It, it, <clears throat> it's a very thin line. You really have to build that level up constantly and on a regular basis and slowly work your way up into eating larger amounts without getting sick. That takes years to do that you, you're not going to do it in like one season you have to do that all the way up you know all the way through the winter and everything it's hard to do because sometimes i just get to a point where i've had enough hot peppers for the year especially when i'm doing all these reviews you see how many of these things i eat by the time the end of the year comes i'm like i'm done i, I just i've had enough but I do like the taste of them. It's just I don't want to make myself absolutely sick. I mean, if, you, if you're if you somebody who likes um, pizza, for example, right? You like pizza. But if you eat pizza every day, eventually you'll get to a point where it's like, I can't stand the taste of pizza. I hate pizza. You don't want to do that because you won't eat pizza anymore if you like pizza. It's the same thing with peppers, tomatoes, any of this stuff. If you overdo it, you'll get to a point where you don't even want to eat them anymore. And I don't try to do that on purpose. It's just I make videos about it, and sometimes that happens. But I don't know. That was it. That, I guess that was a quick, short review for the uh, SRTSTL. I think that's what it was called. The SRTSL. Sarah Rachel Trinidad Scorpion Long. Like I said, I got a couple images from last year. I'll throw those in there. And, uh, you know... That way you can get an idea what they do look like. And that's it. That's your pepper review for that pepper. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.